interracial couple with two kids wanting to do something that highlights the power of friendship and what it means to be in the company of true friends. We're going to move our society away and out of the loneliness epidemic and into a friendlier, happier world. Welcome to our friendly world. Better, stronger, together. Okay, so not just superficially, but for real, there needs to be a world where we have friends that are totally opposite from us. Totally different beliefs, totally different lifestyles, opposite from us. I see that more than ever. Now, having said that, having said that, Mm -hmm. remember, I feel the need, not remember, but I just, okay, I'm all over the place, but I feel the need to cuss someone out. Big time. I haven't really... I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I haven't cussed anybody out since... Actually, no. I guess I've cussed you out. (laughs) (laughs) You don't count. You don't count. Oh, (laughs) sniggity. It looks... It almost sounds like it's coming again. Mm -mm, mm -mm. No, I love you so much and I'm so sorry. But? No, I just apologize (laughs) for being a lunatic sometimes. But no, I, I wanted to say until I caught myself just now. I've only cussed one person out in my life, aside from you. I think, yeah, you're, I think you're the only one. Was it that cute little boy? Webster. What was e- his name? Emmanuel, Emmanuel Lewis. Emmanuel Lewis. The kid who played Webster. He sat next to me, I think it was seventh grade. It was a drafting class, an architectural drafting class. In seventh grade? I think it was seventh grade, yeah. I forget. Like, that whole time period is a little... I still can't um, draw a straight line, even with the ruler. We had... We had T-squares and everything. Anyway, I don't want to digress too much. I just okay. want to bring that up because we've already talked about this before. But, oh, my God, he pissed me off so much. And I think it was the uh, the accumulation of everything that was bothering me. Injustice. Whereas, like, I just couldn't take it anymore. Mm-hmm. And it was right when the school bell was about to ring for the, you know, the last bell of the day, like, you're free to go home. I think it was 30 seconds before that. All of a sudden, I lost it. And I started to, I mean, all the bad words I could think of came just shooting out of my mouth towards Webster, Emmanuel. Towards poor little Webster. (laughs) Did he look like a poor little deer caught in headlights? No, because he was, one of the reasons was because he was acting really arrogant and uh, and he was pissing me off. You know, everyone <laughs> loved him. Everyone loved him. But I was like, I can't take it anymore. I just, like, you all pissed me off. I, I was in a mood. So I just, and his, the look to answer your question, if I look back, I think he had like a smirk on his face, which made me even more mad, right? right? But no, I think it was like, he was like, damn. <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> oh dear so um what happened was the teacher is who i really remember because i heard fun and i look over and my teacher was like i cannot believe what came out of your house i'm sorry for those of you who who have been with our podcast for a long time you've you've already heard this story i'll just make it short what happened was the teacher made me write down every word that had just come out of my mouth so in 30 seconds, any bad word, cuss word that I knew about just came out of my mouth. And then the bell rang. <laughs> and I thought, oh, well, the bell rang. Now I'm free. No, I had to write down every word. And the only thing I had left to write on was I had this notepad. You know, those notepads you like have at your desk. They're like four by six inches or maybe a little smaller. But if those of you are familiar with Sandra Boyn- Boynton, mm-hmm. Boyn- Boynton, they're cute little helpless animals. Oh God, they're with adorable. With wide eyes, it seems. <laughs> so at the top of the page, you have a giraffe, a hippo, an elephant, a bird, like these cute little animals, all with big eyes, like wide open eyes, like they're surprised. Oh, big surprise here! And every single one of them, I think, was holding a little balloon with a, you know a string. Attached to a balloon. Totally safe, totally cute and adorable. Meanwhile, on this page is F-U-U, 
Emmer, Effer, like any any possible horrible thing you could think of. And probably all the combinations thereof. Oh my gosh. I think I had a list of like 20. <sighs> anyway, so and then I handed it to him and all... Here you go. And all this time I'm like, I wish I had that piece of paper because... Even though I have not really cussed anybody out, aside from you, I'm aside so sorry. I'm so sorry, darling. I'm so sorry, my love. I love you. I apologize. I've been very good, though. The past year, I stopped <laughs> it. I have stopped it, but I think I'm feeling the pressure again. Like I, I need it, Matt. I need to do it. And this is why a few years ago, Gosh, I think it was nine years ago. I instituted in our house. This was when you were working at the office and I was homeschooling totally by myself. So I had free reign on how how to school our kids. Oh, dear. How to teach our kids. But like we went to yoga training every day, every day, six days a week. I was getting my license to become a yoga instructor. Oh, my God, this school. Like oh, so awful beyond the opposite of what yoga should be. It was like high school all over again. Like if high school was combat and you're dealing with just... what What's the word I can describe, Matt? The kind of behavior. Like it, not evolved. Just... Go with petty. Hmm. Petty, vindictive, and mean maybe. Yes. And I want to throw the R word in there too. Racist. <gasps> Thank you. Anyway, long story. But the the kids were getting a lot of that too and they were also getting some of it from the kids that were about their age and just in, around town so one day i said all right guys um here's what we're gonna do we're gonna have something called the let it out club and one of us has to say let it out club and that means we started this thing and kind of like if you could imagine yourself with a gavel like meeting is in session all right, let out club. And you're allowed to say whatever you want without any consequences during that time within the privacy of our own home, you know, a safe place where no one else can hear us. And nothing will be used against you. You just, it's a way to get it out of your body, out of your spirit, out of your mind. Anything that's being pent up in there, get it out. And um, the kids are so good. They were so good that they would <laughs> they still wouldn't use any bad words. I'm like, no, here, let me let me show you how. Oh dear. Because <laughs> I'm like, go ahead, honey, say whatever you want. And then the the worst word that they could think of was the word stupid. They thought, ooh, stupid. I'm like, let me show you how. <laughs> so then I started to say stuff. Oh man, my poor children. I started I, I started to say stuff about people we we knew that were really getting to us, like the injustice that were presented to us because of these people. And as soon as they came out of my mouth, like all these things, we started laughing so hard. And then I laughed even harder because the kids had this reaction like, oh, <laughs> And then I felt so liberated. And because they, the kids were laughing, they started to feel better. And then, you know, they said whatever they said, but they still wouldn't use any bad words. But they got it off their chests. The fact that, you know, they thought whatever they thought. They just didn't use any bad words. And so when we were done, we would say, let it out. Club has ended. We're coming to a close. And then we would tap. And then we would feel better. And so uh, lately, I keep thinking over and over in my head, you know, that, that friend that recently, not so recently, I guess it was a couple months ago now. When was it? We're at, at the grocery store. like I want to say it was a month and a half ago. At the grocery store, totally like let loose on me. Like, what's the word let loose? Is that the word? Let loose? Let loose is a good choice. And... And then, and then I handled it by like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry that, you know, uh, can I give you a hug? And then afterwards, I'm like, why did I even do that? I should have let her have it. Right. And I haven't been I, have, I can't stop thinking about it. And then I saw her at the library. We were in the car. And she was just glaring at us. And it was, again, so high school. I could tell she was just like wanting to she was mocking me like from in front of the car. And I tried not to look at her. 
And I could tell whoever she was with, she was telling her whatever story from her perspective. Right. And um, and then the other person was looking at me like, I'm evil. I'm like, oh, my God. Like, what? It, mm. I wish I could just let it out and just cuss someone out, Matt. But I've never done that. And um, I wish I could. And you you are not a believer in using bad words. You very rarely do that. I use them for emphasis. I want everybody to know that I feel seriously about this. I need it because I feel like a balloon. If I if I have any more coming into me, mm-hmm. I will pop. Right. I need release. And for me, using words is a release for me. Right. My, in, in the opposite way, too, using loving words, kindness, like tones that are love loving, it, it creates a state of calm for me. However, I also need the really bad words so that I feel cleansed of what I'm holding. And so anyway, long story short, and I swear I'm going to bring it back to our topic, which is why we should have friends that are so different from us. So here's what happened. Here's what led. Here's the, here is the maze that led to our subject for today. So I came across this word called, and it's now all over the internet, by the way. It's like the zeitgeisty thing. It's called lalokizia. Lalokizia. And people are like, oh, it's a word from a long time ago that has been lost for bringing it back. And they're talking about the, the etymology of it. I'm like, oh, for real? So I started looking it up. I'm like, there is no such word lalokizia for real. If you look at the dictionaries, any dictionary, no one has that word. And then I'm like, okay, well, so and then people are like, oh, the etymology, the Greek roots, which is what we do. I'm like, well, well, okay. But I did find lalo means talkative. Kizo, it's not the same spelling as kizia, but kizo means... Are you ready? <laughs> I'm ready. Defecation or Yay. or elimination of waste. So it's interesting, lalokizia, like speaking in such a way that is a relief that, that gets rid of the waste. But what it actually means, according to these people, they, they think it's a noun and it's the use of vulgar or foul language to relieve stress or pain. No. I'm all for it. That's how I feel. You don't. What's your feeling about using bad words? Does it not make you feel better? It n- never makes me feel better. Why? Because it doesn't. I'd much rather... Uh, uh, and I've been guilty of this recently too, but yeah, I, I get to a point and words don't help. They do not. They never help. Even talking to the person and telling them stuff no satisfaction there either because people are pretty much wired into whatever it is they're saying. I go beat myself up on a bike. I go for a good long ride. I I purge it that way because for me at this point in time, because of our awesome bike paths, I can get into inches away from a meditative sta- sta- bleh, meditative sta- stage. Meditative mm-hmm. stage. Right. So I'm, I'm meditating, particularly when I go early in the morning because there's nobody else around. When you're between towns, nobody's around because people walk dogs and blah, blah, blah. But in middle of nowhere, odds are you're not going to run into anybody. I love that for you. I do. And it's brilliant. I'm glad that that works for you. But I, I do find it interesting that you said, let her have it. Because when you were at the supermarket, you did let her have it. I you did? let her have it. It's yours. Oh. No, I meant... I know, but it's an interesting wordplay. I let her have a hug and all that stuff. Right. No. So you let her have well, something. When I was in shock, not mm-hmm. to bring this up again all over again, but... I know. No, I was in shock that she felt the way she did because she's the one who stopped communication with me. And then she was saying, how dare you say hi to me after you don't even reply to my text? It's my and- one text. She didn't even say my one text. She goes, I sent you messages. I'm like, you did? I didn't see them. Anyway. Anyway. So I apologize. But the other thing is, is this whole lalokizia, right? Uh, lalokizia. How is that different from doing a proper kiai? Like a scream? Like, kiai. 
Yeah, that's right. Which is well, one of these martial artsy things where you're you basically you're kind of letting too, putting the universe on notice. It's too short, Matt. I want a nice list I, of I words. used to curse. I when I cursed when I wasn't in high school trying to be cool, but when I cursed, I would always say this uh, Japanese word that means s h i t. Well, for me, one is not, and it was very not satisfying. going to help. It, no, I just it mm. rolled off the tongue. I don't want it to roll off the tongue. I want it to be sloppy and mean, and I want it to like explode in all different directions. And I want the person to know, and I want to use anything that's uncouth. And I, I just, I'm tired. You know, sometimes I get tired of like trying to be nice all the time and holding it together mm-hmm. when I feel like they're not getting the cues right you know? and, and i'm trying and to be I a good host too. i i just don't in though even in those instances i don't curse and and i know i know that you never get any satisfaction from even having a conversation with someone that just doesn't want to see your point of view i right. get that but i'm just talking about in the shower having a slew of words that just come running out of my mouth or push getting pushed out of my mouth i feel relieved right i feel relief and we call those outbursts, don't we? Yeah, you in the house. They Mom's having it. an outburst. <laughs> I have, I have outbursts when I'm by myself. But sometimes they're joyful. Yes, of course. But right now I'm just talking about the waste that needs to get out. So anyway, back to the friendship thing. So I was looking it up. I'm like, whoa! All these people are talking about it like it's a legit thing. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, Matt, maybe I'm not learning. Maybe I'm not. Matt, maybe I'm I'm doing it wrong. Can you please um, try to find this word and see if it's actually legit out there? Because all I'm getting is Wikipedia stuff and TikTok stuff and Instagram stuff and what else did I get? AI stuff. And we all know that AI is a culmination of basically whatever anything has been said or written about. And AI just gathers that information. Right. So in a, in a way, it's like Wikipedia. Anyone can say anything on Wikipedia and it's like considered truth. But you can go in and change anything on Wikipedia. Anyone can go in and change a definition or change history, basically. Right. I mean, there's moderators and whatnots, but still, yes, you're absolutely right. So which, you know, which... Again, we're talking about also synchronicity has been at play. I've been asking, please show me signs. I need to see synchronicity again, like serendipity. Serendipity. And you, out of the blue, for me anyway, from my perspective, out of the blue, started talking about filtering, filtered views from the internet. And um, this is an early morning conversation we had a few days ago. Just a little light conversation over coffee. The fact that, well, while I was standing making lunch at like 6 a.m., right, for that day. Right, like, I know. I our know. only time we like see each other. But like uh, you were saying, well, could you please describe how how you you said it? So the, mo- the intelligent way, can you describe it? So anyways. As opposed to me being unintelligent. I have a crazy reading list. I mean, it goes everywhere. I was just finished, oh my God, brilliant book by Ursula K. Le Guin for kids. Brilliant. Finished reading that, started started it on the next. I always have a stack of books that I'm reading. So I'm currently reading Eli Pariser's The Filter Bubble, What the Internet is Hiding from You from 2011. So this is old now. Many computer generations. But what he was describing was basically the internet is feeding on itself. And the way things work at a Facebook or a, or a Google or now a TikTok, uh, basically, it's following the zeitgeist to whatever extreme. And we don't, we're, we're losing that sense of having a curated experience curated by quote unquote experts. We're now in a society where we're having a curated experience that is curated by people who are just like me or my friends, which science has kind of informed us lately, your friends are kind of just like you too. So it's kind of a weird space. And what's that term? You are the culmination of who surrounds you? Like if you want to know who you are or what you're about, 
think about the people around you. Right. Who who is it that you're hanging around? Right? You may not be conscious of it. But like what information are you getting? Chances are it's only because of your your peer small group. Small circle. Yes. Of people. Right. And and basically we're getting this kind of megaphone back to us of our own stuff with a little sprinkling mixed in because they offer a little variety. And then if we don't click on it, then it's gone. So but there's, like, there's no challenging conversations. There's no challenge to be had. No right. other viewpoint. Right. Perspective. Even. Right. And there's a bunch of other things going on too. But yes, absolutely. So it's even worse if you're on the internet than... You know, if you only get your news from Fox News, for instance, or from MSNBC, <laughs> right side, left side, you know, uh, in America, the leftist press doesn't talk at all about Hunter Biden's laptop and they don't talk at all about, oh, there was something else. Uh, oh, yeah, Senator Menendez, who was a Democrat who just got convicted of doing bad things with Egypt don't talk about those. And then the right-hand side doesn't talk about the multiple felony convictions of Donald Trump and da 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 da, da. But we, we know all this. Well, it's, it, right? but it's, no, it mean, can be really hard to pay attention. Well, y uh, yes. What, what, so after you were saying this, Matt, immediately I started flashing to, oh my God, you're right. So uh, as, uh, you said something really... You, you said something that made me stop in my tracks. And I don't know if you just said it just now, but it, you said it when we were in the kitchen the other day. It was something like, you'll never know what's going on. If you go online, you won't know what's going on. So if something big could have happened, it will not come across your feed if it's something that you normally is don't look at. Right. So you you won't know what's right. going on. Right, and because I'm a computer guy, I know that nowadays it appears that the uh, that the police in America can videotape your front door without a warrant for sixty days, because that's the you don't have a reasonable expectation of privacy anymore because of Amazon Ring cameras. Now, that was buried, not buried. It was very obvious on one of the technical websites I go to. But holy, that's like huge mm. that's walking all over civil rights and also in the, in the like. same week you were telling me about something that didn't even come across my feed which was all these car companies dealerships oh, yes. had to pay off a hacker was it like a billion dollars they How paid much was it? they paid the hacking group they they claim it was bitcoin so it fluctuates but 25 million dollars because in america again you couldn't buy a new car for like a couple of weeks from many, many dealerships because this master kind of selling web, web service went down. Corrupted data and they wouldn't unlock it and so they were held for ransom by they hackers. They were held for a ransom. It w I didn't hear about that right, at all. Right, of course not. It was not, I don't think anyone knew about it except mm -hmm. for you maybe. Well, at the gas station because the gas station is attached to auto dealerships yeah they were talking about it. right but again but again if you're not in the field what do you right, know right right you didn't even learn that and, online and god no god knows what information is out there that i'm not getting because i'm not going to the right places because i only go to places that interest me that are directly and interesting we don't, we to don't me. even it's i don't even go to places anymore things just pop up so for me what pops up is vegan stuff or or um meditation things or mind over matter things you know it's like whoa i don't get anything I, and i'm busy too on top of it i'm working everybody's I'm, busy for sure right so it's not like how would i even know to go looking for something that has happened if it does not come across my feed and i think i'm i have access to the world because i'm on the internet you are you do i'm online but no i'm not but you're getting a so filtered scary. view. That's what I'm saying. And it's going to get, get worse it. with AI. It's going to get even worse. So much like looking up this word. I almost started to say it with our show. Like I was just going to talk about this word. I'm like, hold on. Is it for real? Right. I don't know what made me say that. Probably our conversations this week.
right? Right. I'm like, is it for real? Right. And I looked, I'm like, no. And then you looked at your, what do you call it? Your. Uh, <laughs> okay, so I got on the internet, you can, uh, on, on the eBay, I got a DVD. Remember those? I got an encyclopedia on DVD. I got Encyclopedia, encyclopedia. Britannica 2016 or some such on DVD that came with a dictionary. We also have a my college dictionary from when I was 13. And we have my elementary school dictionary from when I was like eight. Hold on. Let me just preface. Paper like, books. Let me further explain just in case you all missed it. So, yes, Matt bought this online. However... It's something that's offline. Right. It's so completely you, offline. But however, I don't have any. But explain explain exactly what okay. it is. So it's an, remember encyclopedias, people used to spend so much money on them. Yes. Right. And it would be a wall of these thick mm -hmm. books. And if you ever needed to look anything up, you would go to that letter. It would go A to B <laughs> or, you know, and then you would look up, I don't know, if you wanted to look up anything about the Amazon, you'd go to the book that had A's in it. And then you would turn to the page, you would look it up like a dictionary. Right. And you would and find Amazon and you would get all the information on the Amazon. Not Amazon. Oh, I used the wrong you did. example. Digestive system is one I use. Okay. So it would yeah. go through and describe the stomach and blah, 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 I'm blah. I'm in Brazil. <laughs> It, it would go through it. So this is a DVD. It's not. Oh, it's not updated by Britannica. So it's static text. It's un theoretically unmodifiable text that I was able to just put on my computer and call it a day. I put it on every single computer I have, including my work com computer. Shh, don't tell anybody. But it also has a dictionary. It also has the Britannica dictionary. And so again, every word that has existed before 2016 is in there. So no one could have changed history for you. So right. if you looked up something in history, whatever was written back then, it's still written the way it was back yes. then. No one's changed it. Right. We are living in that time where thing, history gets changed right before our eyes. And we're so busy and um, stupid in a way that we don't even recognize what's happening. Who was it? Was it Stalin? Who changed the photos? Yes, Stalin changed photos. Orwell called him out on it in 1984. Right. So next thing you know, people believe what they're looking at eventually. Right. Right. Well, if you and don't, they don't have even any question counterpoint, it. Right, you what else are you going to do? Right. So that's happening right now. And that's why we, especially now, it, it is incredibly incredibly important so why are you laughing incredibly <laughs> i am a robot <laughs> it is really important to have friends that are completely opposite from you who know their stuff and you're able to have an intelligent respectful conversation with even if you don't whatever they're spewing just look at it or try to hear it as if you're watching tv do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you, that you're not so attached to what they're saying and you don't get offended. But it's really important to hear what else is going right. on yeah, out cause, there. Because sometimes you got to let it go. Because, yeah, I have, yeah, one of my friends is former Marine. And he is, yeah, he is an interesting, it's interestingly challenging to talk to him sometimes particularly about things like gun control because yeah his idea of gun control is you hit what you what you uh, aim at versus you know restricting the number of weapons and da -da 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 -da. so yeah. but but we're able because we're respectful of one another first of all we know when to back off and second of all um, yeah we're able to articulate and communicate and then say we agree to disagree and call it a day mm-hmm and it just sounds so, um, uh, what's the word? Like, yeah, yeah, you should just have different friends and blah, blah, blah. What's the word? It's so, uh, I don't know the word. Go pithy? No, no, I can't think of the word right now. But, but hmm, after, after a while, it just, it, it's not, it's not pithy. It's, it's, after a while, it's not so divided and initially you may think whoa this is so different from me oh they don't know what they're talking about oh they ah, sound yes. crazy 
But after a while, once you get over, it's like jumping into a, a body of water and you're like shocked by the cold, right? Then you get used to it. Then you're able to like swim comfortably. I feel like it's the same because I have a friend like that too who's so different politically than I am. Mm -hmm. And at first I was like, uh oh. <laughs> ruh, ruh, should I be right? friends with this person? Not even that. I didn't know. I, I still wanted to be friends. But because I, I respected her, I was like, how in the world is she like this? What? But as she spoke, and, and uh, you know, I used my own advice, like I'm watching TV, watching a movie. After a while, it wasn't shocking. After a while, I could see why she said what she said. After a while, I... I understand why. And then after a while, she, she stops um, seeming so radical to me because she got it out of her system. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And she's able to come to center with me and the other way around. Does that make any sense? It does. What I just said? It does. It, it's like hearing each other, right? Right. It, it's, it's, again, going back to this la lochizia. You're getting rid of waste, right? Mm -hmm. And it's interesting. Michelle Silence sent me a little thing about how when someone's yelling at you and like vomiting all this stuff at you, it's because they've been dying to tell you this stuff all along, right? Right. When you're like, whoa, which makes a lot of sense. Like why, what's her face at the grocery store did what she did to me? She was thinking about that our entire friendship, right? And, and there you go. And yeah, I've actually gotten scolded lately at work. Yay. <laughs> Not because what I've said isn't the truth, but it's how I'm telling people. Because I finally just say, are you serious? You know, I literally come across like, are you kidding me over here? And, and then they get offended because where did this come from? And it's like, you have been doing this for weeks and you haven't caught any of my hints. So now I had just have to tell you in whatever scenario it is. But see, that's why La Lokizia or whatever it is, is good in the shower, Matt, because you get it out. So when you have to talk to someone. But the problem is still there. I, I know, but the, the waste is not in you anymore. So you can be in a loving tone and go. I can get wow. right back there so fast. It's not even But funny. if you get it out enough. If you get it, if you do it enough, and I'm not saying do what I do, which is curse in the shower, <laughs> but but if you get it out of you enough, then you you build up um you build up a, a core around you mm -hmm. where it doesn't get you as often, it doesn't bother you so much, right? You're more flexible. You're more like a bouncy ball, you know. Things can also bounce off of you, right? It doesn't, in a way, and I see where you're going to in a personal life. But when I'm working on a project, and I know that these people are believing that they're being successful, and they're not, yeah, you know, if I'm carrying them, then they need to understand I am carrying them, and I need more. I need more from them. Right. That's a whole other subject, and that's, a whole and that's something other we've been talking about for a long time now. And I don't know how to fix that. <laughs> I don't know how to fix it yet. Right. Not yet. Okay, that's it for me. Okay. Anything from you to, to wrap it up? I have said my piece. I have said my piece. Too. Well, no, you know, I'm I've go said my war. I'm, I'm going to the shower. <laughs> no, like I said, I just want to like curse somebody out. <sighs> cuss, cuss somebody okay, out. Okay, we better end the show so you can go away from me and then you can do your <laughs> cursing. No, and, and you know what? And just telling you guys about it, I feel better. Good. So I didn't have to use all the messed up words. I feel better. Okay. But I'm just let, putting you all, not you guys, not our friends. I'm just putting out it let on it out notice. Club. You know, we need Let It Out Club. All right. Thanks, guys. Are you starting it or Let It Out it? Club is over. It is over? <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm going to go to the bathroom and start it all over again. Oh, dear. <sighs> okay. Love you guys. Thank you. Be well. <laughs> Bye. See you soon. Reach out to us anytime. Bye.